welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the University of Iowa Des Moines Internal Medicine Residency Program. One of the things I really like about the University of Iowa Des Moines Internal Medicine Residency Program is the really supportive faculty and the great camaraderie among the residents. The faculty really care about you know, our, our success in the program and, and check in very frequently. And then among the residents, we do lots of fun stuff together. We play volleyball, we have trivia night. So there's lots of things, you know, besides being on the floors together that we like to do together. I really like the schedule format that we have here at the program. Um, in our intern year, we do a four plus two, so we do four weeks of inpatient block, um, and then two weeks of typically outpatient. And then in your second and third year, you switch to just half-day clinics. So you get really kind of that um, getting your feet wet kind of experience in intern year, knowing how your continuity clinic works, and then by the time that you're, you know, a second or third year and you're a little more comfortable and confident in working in the clinic, you can go there in the half day and it gives you kind of that simulated experience of being a primary care doctor and following a, a panel of patients, you know, um, every week. So I really enjoy that aspect of the program as well. Another great thing about this program that I love is just how many great sites we have to work at. We have three main hospitals that we work at, um, Unity Point Methodist obviously being our home base, but we also rotate frequently at the VA hospital uh, and also the county hospital, Broadlands Medical Center. So we get to experience all those different types of patient populations and different EMRs as well, which I think really help prepare you for the real world and uh, knowing what type of hospital and jobs you want to work at. I love our inpatient service at Methodist called the Yonker 7 service. You know, I would show up probably around, you know, in the morning, 6 to 6.30, see my patients, take a quick break in the morning for our morning report, which is basically a didactic case-based learning session led by our senior resident. And following that, go back to seeing my patients, make sure that I have a plan for each of them, talk those patients over with my senior. And then, you know, when our attending arrives around nine o'clock, we are all ready to talk about our patients and discuss the plans for them. And then. Based on that, we go around on all the patients as a group. There's tons of good learning that happens, and we go to noon conference. We're always well fed on this service. Really, at this residency program, we're always well fed. So we go to noon conference, uh, hear from a specialist about whatever the topic is for the day, eat lunch, kind of have some camaraderie with our co-residents, and go back to the go back to the service, take some admits, uh, discharge patients, uh, whatever whatever that day needs. One of the aspects of the University of Iowa Des Moines Internal Medicine Program that I really love is our access to the critical care side of things. We work very closely with our attendings and that affords us a lot of opportunity, both from taking care of patients on a day-to-day -day basis, learning basic management of IC level patients, and procedures. Uh, at this program, we have no fellows, so all of the opportunities for procedures go to us as residents. At this point, I've probably done over 40 central lines, close to 30 intubations, and a number of art lines and other procedures. And I feel very confident going into uh, the application cycle for a pulmonary and critical care fellowship. Here at the VA, we spend two months our intern year working in inpatient medicine. It's a great opportunity to see bread and butter medicine, as well as oversee two medical students, either from Des Moines University or the University of Iowa. Our second year, we come back for a month of inpatient medicine where we get to oversee ICU patients and a sub-intern, and we also get to help our interns navigate the VA system. Also, as senior residents, we come back for several blocks of nights where we get a lot of autonomy with taking admits and transfers from all over the state. All in all, it's an honor to serve our veterans who really appreciate our care. I'm Taylor Jones. I'm one of the third years here, currently over at Broadlands. Broadlands is a rotation that we get to do both as an intern and as a senior resident. As interns, it allows us to see a ton of different pathology here at the county hospital. You get to see any, anything from bread and butter medicine to some really unique cases, uh, patients who haven't had insurance and just come in with lots of really interesting pathology. We also get to work closely with the family medicine residents, which is just great to see kind of different perspectives on things. 
And then coming back as a senior, we get to take our role on as a junior attending. We get to staff patients and kind of see what it's like to be in medicine on our own after graduation. So it's a great experience overall. One of the aspects I found incredibly helpful about our program is the simulation sessions. We meet regularly with our program leadership and co-residents to give each other constructive feedback in dealing with challenging patient encounters, problem solving overnight, leading code blue scenarios, and more. One of the things we emphasize early in turn year is the use of POCUS, or point of care ultrasound. We use modules called Sonosim, where we have protected time to complete them during our ambulatory blocks. We're able to apply that knowledge in clinic and inpatient rotations. Our program has portable ultrasounds for iPad use, and in the ICU we have regular ultrasound machines available. Every resident gets 20 days of PTO a year and additional days to take boards and attend educational conferences. Furthermore, as Unity Point employees, we're eligible for 401k match all three years. We also get more food than we know what to do with. We have food at noon conference, uh, we have snacks in our lounge, and we can request snacks all the time that we get refilled regularly. And we also get a stipend at all the hospitals we work at. There's very rarely an issue of people running out of money to buy food. You know, there's more food than you know what to do with. One additional benefit was we got a moving stipend of $750 prior to starting the program. Residents also appreciate the educational stipend of $800 a year, which you can use to buy a personal device like a phone or laptop, board prep materials including courses, textbooks, or other educational materials. As someone who's lived in the Des Moines area for most of my life, I couldn't wait to come back home after finishing medical school. One of the perks of life in Des Moines is an overall low cost of living. There are many options for housing. I and some of my co-residents like living downtown where we're walking distance to the hospital and close to a lot of the fun shops, incredible restaurants and breweries, and the nightlife. Some of my other co-residents, especially those with families, choose to live in the surrounding suburbs, which are all a max 15 to 20 minutes drive from the hospital with minimal, if any, traffic. Not to mention, we have free parking at all of the hospitals and clinics that we work at. All year round, there's never a shortage of things to do. Spring and summer are full of farmers markets, festivals, zoo brew at the Blank Park Zoo, and Iowa Cubs baseball games. The Iowa State Fair is full of fried food, farm animals and family fun, not to mention all the trails for walking and biking and places to canoe and kayak. In the fall, I love going to the apple orchards and having bonfires with my co-residents. The fun doesn't stop in the winter either. There's plenty of winter activities around Des Moines, a favorite of mine being ice skating at Brenton with a great view of downtown. To escape the cold for a bit, I love going to the Botanical Center or grabbing a hot chocolate at one of the many local coffee shops. For those who love the arts like me, the Civic Center downtown hosts touring Broadway shows and the Des Moines Art Center holds tons of incredible classes in pottery, drawing, painting, you name it. One of my favorite memories from intern year was that we formed a, a volleyball team called the Wanky Blocks and we were able to win two recreational league championships here in the Des Moines area. And more recently, our internal medicine team defeated the general surgery residents in our annual softball game. This program really emphasizes that you're a person outside of the hospital, and Des Moines makes it easy to follow a lot of your interests and hobbies. We are so glad that you're exploring your interest in our program, and we look forward to meeting you.